Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Flight Um Frontier Fly Pilot Simulator. Not flight. Uh we've just bought some what is it? Canned sea cockerel. Cans of preserved sea cockerel. Five hundred grams each. Made on Raglar by Capu Incorporated. Wasn't it eels before? I don't know. Look at that profit. Forty three thousand. So let's go offload this at Cargo Spaceway first. Which one is the most profitable? Oh, it's Power Plant BC. Holy crap. Whoa. And that one is over there. So if we go here and then here, I don't know if you can go all the way to the power plant uh, with the current energy reserves. We'll see. We might have to go to hard mine. But that's, that's amazing. Wow. That is amazing. Wait, 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 wait. Double profit. Okay, double profit where? It just says double profit. I don't know. Was it Zephyr? Was it Concord? I don't know. We're a little bit heavy now. Wait, why are the G-type batteries zero tons? But only the C cockerel is two tons, that's a bit weird. There we go. No, 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 come on. The auto-leveling... What? Doesn't quite want to work. Sometimes. To get used to it a little bit. It likes to overcorrect. That's okay. I suppose I need to be gentle with reducing throttle. No. If you start going too fast... I believe you... Uh, what happens? You get like electrical distortions and you bust the radar and stuff like that. I don't know. I guess it's... Uh, I guess there's a lot of static electricity in the air, lots of... I don't know. And by going too fast through the atmosphere, you start building up a charge and then... ...things go brokey. Guys, I'm heading towards uncharted territory tonight. Uh, anyone up to join me? I do. Let the exploration begin! Uh, the weather conditions are actually very unpredictable and extreme out there. Uh, okay. Ski background stable, three kilometers. Um. Hmm. I don't know if we can actually make it all the way. At 105 thrust, we should be okay with energy use, I think. We've got, let's see, we've got 9 minutes, 25 seconds left at this rate of use. But we'll need to start climbing here in a, just a moment, so... And I think there's a head... I think there's a wind that's not helping us. Oh, that's pretty good. So I could turn off auto leveling, I suppose. Let's turn that off. There. That's much easier, yeah, right now. And then I can turn it back on. And make sure that I'm not gonna hit that hill. There's quite a bit of pop, uh, uh, pop in with all the rocks on the ground and such, but it's not too bad. Okay, we're gonna be have to be careful there. It's gonna be low visibility and a lot of high uh, high mountains, I believe, so that AR mode is actually going to be quite useful. So let's, uh, let's do auto-leveling back on. We need to try the first-person mode, maybe. Sometime. Yeah, we're going straight for that mountain. What the heck's going on? 
Yep. It's not going to be good. A little more thrust, please. Look at this place. I wonder if they actually recorded those things by themselves. The chatter. What's that there on the ground? No, I think they actually took samples of real uh, ATC stuff. What is what is that? Oh, like like mini volcano things or something. They're not man-made structures. That's cool. Look at that. I've never seen that before. Oh, it's like insects or something. Wow. Okay, I'm assuming it's not a very good idea to go down there. They're all over the place. What is the No, no, no. No, no. I don't want that. I wanted the radar. See, that's the annoying thing. Before you just had a single button you could always use for um wind charts, but now nope. I will need repair, so you know what? We need this. Why can I not move the camera anymore? That's annoying. And there's the ski um, background radiation there. No. Again. Have to go left to this. That's a little bit annoying. I, c I, c I can't move the camera anymore. What's going on? I guess it needs to get out of that UI mode. Come on. There. Yeah, there we go. Wow, all of my <laughs> engines need repairs. I think this place looks a lot better than when I last played it. Oh. I don't like the look of that. Can I... I think I'm far enough away. Yeah, there we go. I wonder if they're going to add more islands. That would be cool. And for some re reason, I remember before you could actually control what would pretty much be a rudder, but you can't now anymore. See, that's what I'm talking about, but it still seems to... There we go. It's just a little... More, it's more fiddly than before. There we go. Just gonna be very gentle with it. Flaps of 57%. Apparently, this uh, atmosphere and everything really takes a toll on these craft. We're very close, but we are getting fairly low on energy. We've still got four minutes of fuel remaining at this rate, but we should be there way before that. Oh, it's actually, look, below there, it, it tells us we can do 47 kilometers at this rate. We can start slowing down. Okay, no more thrust. No more auto-leveling. Power plant. Where is this power plant? It must be tiny. Oh, there it is. You gotta bleed some speed here. Well, actually, I can use flaps. Come on. Just gonna do this, really. Power. Perfect. Perfect. Full power still. Okay, go back. I don't want to hit that. There we go. Should have kept it at full power for a little longer, but that's okay. No harm done.
Perfect. All right. So we can sell the G-Type batteries here, right? No, uh, there we go. Look at that, 25,000. Lovely. And we can recharge in the meantime. No, uh, recharge. Wow, it's like four tons or something. Jeez. Where does that passenger want to go? Uh, Concord. Whoa! It's a lot of money. They want to go to Concord, but we're going to Quarry M&T. That's where we're going, because they want water for 123,000. Love it. <laughs> All right. Big money, here we come. If the ship doesn't go poof before that. What the hell's going on? Oh! Because our engines are damaged, look at that, we're not getting full thrust anymore. It's only 209 instead of 226, which is what we requested from the engines. Oh, okay. It's, uh, something to keep in mind. I didn't know that actually was a thing. Alright. That's, uh, quite interesting. Auto-leveling on. Go down to about a hundred thrust and be very gentle so it actually acts just as a rudder instead of action. No, come on. There we go. Corey MT, 34 kilometers away, and it's gonna be a giant paycheck. I don't know if the quarry has any repair stations there. Can you please level out? There we go. I have no idea what they were talking about. Flaps at 50%. Now, whoa, 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 whoa. It's a little turbulent. Let's uh, actually disable auto leveling and go a little bit higher. Everything is smoking now. Radar at 79%, battery at 68%. Ooh, that would be bad. If the battery gets too damaged, it will actually start losing charge very quickly. And yeah, I think at this point, I'm kind of convinced. This is probably like hydrogen or something like that they're using. I was confused because it says charge as an energy charge instead of... And it even says battery, right? So, I don't know. I don't know why else these so-called batteries would uh, weigh more as you uh, fill them back up. Flaps going down to 48%. Engines at 66. We really need to repair. If if we are gonna crash now with this uh, with the sea cockerel here, I'm gonna be mad. I mean, we would only be effectively using 1,000 credits, of course, but. We're so close to making some serious cash there. I'm not surprised that bigger ship now costs so much. It's gonna be fairly easy to afford it. And it's, uh, it's gonna be nighttime apparently. But apparently, whoa, all sorts of weird graphical stuff going on. Yeah, see, we requested 109, and we're only getting 99 out of it. Uh, I think the computer should be compensating for that. And give you 109. You just cannot get all full power out of it. 46% for flaps, 64 for engines. They are not liking this one bit. Disabling auto leveling. Reduce thrust. So we're getting close. Overcast. Visibility is significantly reduced. Be careful. Okay. No more thrust.
Lose some speed. Oh, game is not too happy. So our maximum thrust at the moment is 202. Okay. It's not a huge deal. It's not that nice. So there we go. This is one of those where it has, like, what you would call a landing strip, but I don't really know how you would land there. I mean, I'm th I think they will be adding, like, ILS and stuff like that. So you could actually land, and they will definitely need longer strips to land. Alright, money, here we come. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Alright, you ready for this? <laughs> yeah. And here we go. What? Why is it only 43,000? You said a hundred and... What? Well, it's still a good price, but what? No! Oh well. That's a bit of a disappointment. <laughs> okay. Here's your cockerel. So they got tritium water. Why is that... A very fragile thing, also known as super heavy water, used as, as radioactive indicator of moisture and impermeability of a substance. 13 tons of yttrium, 11 tons of terbium. Oh, jeez. Um. Oh, wow, they won that at Aslan 1? How much, can, how much does it sell over there? And I'm not trusting this thing anymore, and we need to repair. No, come on. Sixty-two thousand. Yeah, I doubt it. Um, and there's some ore there. I could go and pick that up, but we need to repair. We definitely need to repair. Where can we repair? We're kind of far far away from everything. Please don't zoom in. I'm just trying to see. Ah, excellent. This is where we can repair the big crater. So, no, come on. So we're going back to the big crater. And they want carbon monostructure, uh, construction, structural frames, blah, 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 blah. Well, let's go over there. And, of course, we're not going to be doing VTOL here. We're just going to be uh, using this strip all right anyway thank you so much for watching i will see you all next time have a good one bye bye